Are we ready? Good. The meeting is now called to order. Can we please all stand for the flag salute? I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mrs. Burke. Here. Mr. Sakala. Here. Mrs. Dye. Here. Mrs. Marinelli. Here. Mr. Mandela. Here. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meeting of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Cedar Grove Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be advertised by having the date, time, and place thereof posted on bulletin boards in the district, published and or transmitted to the Verona Cedar Grove Times and Star Letter newspapers, filed with the township clerk, and posted on the district website. The meeting is open to the public for comments on the agenda. <laughs> Seeing none, <laughs> I close that portion of the meeting. Committee reports. Not oh, am one. I the only <laughs> one? <laughs> you, were, you went to everything for me. <laughs> you asked me. I have committee reports. It's just you. What do I have to report on? <laughs> uh, South End FSA. Um, it was good to go to an FSA meeting. I haven't gone for a while, so it's nice to go back and be on the front lines again and talk to uh, you know the parents and get input. But one of the things that had come up, uh, which I it was amazing or, or coincidental because I thought of it as soon as I walked in the building, um, was that South End does not have a handicapped ramp. So when I, during the meeting, when after I spoke, um, they actually asked me about that. And I was like, wow, I can't believe you're saying that because I thought of that when I walked in here because I knew at North End there's a ramp. So I called um, mm -hmm. Renee and we spoke about the possibility of how much it would cost for a portable ramp. Um, because the reason why it came up with them is because they had Scott Chesney. They did a year ago. It was terrible. Or just recently. No, it was about a year ago. Oh, wasn't that long? Yeah. And, and um, I think something else recently, too, um, with, elder, with the elderly community, when they come in for concerts and stuff, there's no, you know, it's kind of difficult. So, um, what's that? The end door, you still have to walk down those couple of stairs. Yeah, so there's stairs. Yeah. There's so they, uh, so they asked about it, and I asked Renee. So she's ha looking into it with Mario to see how much it would cost for a portable um, handicap ramp for South End. So I communicated that back already to um, the president. And um, the other thing that they were asking about is our intentions on the bathrooms. And I went through the, our facility plan and how we're getting costs together right now. And we're looking at the whole district, and it's definitely on our radar. So. Um, that was pretty interesting and to be honest with you your wife also asked me a question and I was like you're a board member's <laughs> wife and she said we really don't talk about things at home and I'm like okay you're just making this look good for the public no she actually did have a question so I thought it was kind of funny um, and then the other meeting that I attended was the what was the other meeting I went rec to board? oh rec board meeting um, that as you know is always kind of quick um, but something came up at that meeting that I was supposed to and I wrote my notes and I didn't bring it there is something there that I have to that we have to look into so I have to get back to you on that one I'll bring it for next week because I left it at home I apologize um, and then lastly I went to um, the award ceremony at the high school and it's funny because I thought that I was walking into the senior awards but that's next month so this is the first time I attended the um, 9 through um, 12 awards where they give it per academ academic area. Did you ever go? Okay. When I tell you, and it was, it was pretty cool because it coincided when I went over to the South End FSA meeting, I walked in as Mr. Kavanaugh was finishing up about how they're finishing up testing this week. And as I was driving over to the South End meeting, I thought to myself, you know, we have a lot of talented students here um, in all areas because before they get their, their award, the advisor or the teacher speaks about each individual student and their accomplishments and why they're getting that award. So I sort of said to um, the FSA, I said, you know, we lose sight of, you know, you were always so concerned about test scores, test scores, test scores. And yes, that's important.
important and we need to keep focusing on that but you get away from the basics of what makes a school district and we have so much to be proud of because our students, um, after hearing a lot of the presentations and you know the accomplishments these kids have done, you know they're self-motivated. There's they the things that they do and you know getting up in the mornings and and you know for different classes early before before school starts and you know just coming up with different things. It was amazing to listen to and it just brings you back to. It's not always about the test scores. There's so much more that goes on in our district. And for being you know, a small district as we are, we do so many things and the programs are amazing. So I, I really was glad that I attended that award ceremony thinking that it was a senior awards, but it, it really opened up my eyes to a lot of the other areas that we do. So I just wanted to say that um, tonight. So sorry that I rambled, but I thought it was really interesting. And um, like I said, we have a lot of talented kids in our system. So that was my week of going to different meetings for the last two weeks. No one else had meetings this week? No other FSA meetings? No, uh, North End has theirs on Thursday. Oh, okay. Alrighty, that's it. Moving on the agenda. From the Office of the Business Administrator and Board Secretary, um, may I have a motion under minutes t uh, for B1 to approve the public and executive uh, minutes of April 30th? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Burke? Yes. Mr. Sakala? Yes. Mrs. Dye? Yes. Mrs. Marinelli? Aye. And Mr. Mandela? Aye. Under bills, may I have a motion <coughs> for B2, and that's to um, ap um, approve that the board secretary certifies that no account line has been overexpended during the month of April and May. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Well, Is we have April and May here, so that would be part May, right? E well, yes, May through the 23rd. Okay. Um, no, today's only the 14th. <laughs> so it really should just be through April, right? Right. We'll add May next month. So for during the month of April. Mrs. Burke? Yes. Mr. Sakala? Yes. Mrs. Doy? Yes. Mrs. Marinelli? Aye. And Mr. Mandela? Aye. Under business, may I have a motion for B3 through. Oh, this is the long one. Wow, this is the long one. <laughs> through B48. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is a motion to approve the acquisitions of district taxes as uh, stated for the 2013-2014 school year. A uh, motion to cancel all obligations for um, the checks that are listed below because of the time frames. A uh, motion to approve the 2013-2014 school year substitute rate per diem. A uh, motion to approve the substitute custodians as listed. A motion to approve the summer custodians as listed. A motion to approve the 2013-2014 tuition rates um, as listed. A motion to approve the uh, appointments as listed for the different areas. Uh, B10 is a motion to approve the Verona Cedar Grove Times and Star Ledger newspaper as our official newspaper. Um, it's B11 is a motion to approve um, the depositories uh, for the school district funds as listed, uh, the institutions that are listed there. B12 is um, a motion to require that all checks, drafts, and all other orders for payment or withdrawal of money uh, from the accounts listed uh, be signed by the appropriate um, person and title. Uh, B13 is a motion to approve the establishment of petty cash at each of the different um, schools. B14 is a motion to appoint the business administrator and board secretary as the custodian of government records. B15 is a motion to authorize the business administrator, ad business administrator and board secretary to participate in the New Jersey state contract process. Uh, B16 is a motion to authorize a business administrator to solicit bids when required. A uh, motion to appoint uh, Ms. Renee Tavernier as district qualified purchasing agent. 
B18 is a motion to reapprove participation in the New Jersey state contract process. Uh, B19 is a motion to appoint the firm of Rogat McCarthy as the um, board's um, bond counsel. B20 is a motion to appoint Bollinger Insurance as our insurance carrier. Um, B21 is a motion to appoint Robert Donahue as our architect. Uh, B22 is a motion to appoint Mr. Christopher Kinney as a district liaison um, to the New Jersey Division of Youth and Family Services. B23 is a motion to appoint Enviro Vision Consultants of Hawthorne, New Jersey as a right to know environmental and safety consultant. B24 is a motion to adopt and be governed in all actions to come before the board by the written board policies, regulations, and job descriptions. B25 is a motion to authorize a business administrator board secretary release warrants um, for payment of the district's bills. B26 is a motion to acknowledge receipt of the code of ethics material. B27 is a motion to approve the one-year contract between the Cedar Grove Board of Education and Benicard Services for the prescription drug management services. B28 is a motion to approve the one-year contract between Delta Dental of New Jersey and Cedar Grove Board of Education. Uh, B29 is a motion to approve that the extent consistent with state law policies and bylaws, the board will be guided by Robert Rules of Orders. Um, B30 is a motion to adopt the uniform minimum chart of accounts. B31 is a motion to reappoint and approve Lurch, Vinci, and Higgins as the district auditors. Uh, B32 is a motion to approve uh, PenServe Plan Services, Inc. Uh, 33 is a motion to approve the adoption of the existing contracts and agreements to which the Cedar Grove Board of Education is a party. B34 is a motion to authorize certified school personnel to collect and maintain the um, pupil records as listed and mandated. B35 is a motion to approve the 2013 Cedar Grove High School football program. A motion 36 is a motion to approve payment application number six from Pil Pug. Phil Puglisi. 37 is application number 7 from Phil Puglisi. Uh, 38 is a motion to approve Shaw's complete security to install um, the, the necessary technology at the high school. Uh, 39 is a motion to accept $14,680 donation from the Memorial Middle School FSA for the purchase of four smart board projectors. Uh, B40 is a motion to approve Strong and Associates to provide two-day teacher training. Uh, that's for our new evaluation process. Mm -hmm. uh, B41 is a motion to approve Strong and Associates to provide one-day one uh, leader training. 42 is for Strong and Associates to provide one-day training uh, for student growth objectives. 43 is a motion to approve the Cedar Grove School District membership in the NJSIAA. Uh, 44 is a motion to approve the f uh, board committees as listed. I'll review that as we when we go forward. B45 is a motion to approve AHERA consultants. 46 is a motion to approve the Board of Education of Cedar Grove does hereby agree to maintain its membership in the pooled insurance program. 47 is to approve um, Cedar Grove Board of Education's membership in the Garden State Coalition of Schools. And 48 is a motion to approve Rockwell and Carrington um, payment for application number 12. That's in regards to the high school uh, referendum issues. Any discussion? Well, so moved, yes. Motion. Thank you. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I just wanted to um, review on um, B44, Mrs. Burke. I see that you must see <laughs> that your name is there. <laughs> I volunteered you and myself. Um, this was just a request from. Because <laughs> no. I think I was just talking to you that day when I, when we just did it. Um, but I, but as board president, I get to appoint yeah. the committees anyway. So I just wanted to have Pam. We never did a committee together. No, never. No. So um, this was uh, Mr. Kinney um, requested um, committee. He'd like to meet with um, uh, whenever necessary. It may be monthly. It may be. It may be whenever it's needed. 
there's no set time frame. But this is just to go over um, anything um, pertaining to special, special ed. Um, you know, if there's any issues that come up or any new uh, changes that are happening. He just wants to, he thought that it was important to have a committee just to bounce ideas off and talk about. So um, this is a new committee that's added um, to our other list. So is there anyone else in the district on the committee? No, it'll just be Mr. Kinney and the superintendent. So whoever, um, and you know, it'll be with Mr. Featherman. I didn't know if it was, you know, a teacher or the case manager. No, no, no. He just wanted to meet uh, th oh. through, and this was something that he, um, you know, had been wanting to do for a while. And he thought it was important to to have it edit. So he asked my opinion, and I thought it was a great idea. So. Um, so that's that. Any other questions on any of the on any of the other most uh, motions? Okay, roll call, please. Mrs. Burke. Yes. Mr. Sakala. Yes. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Mrs. Marinelli. Aye. And Mr. Mandala. Aye. Uh, from the office of the superintendent, under personnel, may I have a motion for S1 through S12, and that is a motion to approve. Employee number 2464650 be granted a paid leave of absence from the time frame listed. Um, it's a motion to approve the employment of Nicholas Molina, teacher of mathematics at the Cedar Grove High School for the t term listed. Um, motion to approve the employment of John Scancarella, teacher of biology at the Cedar Grove High School. Um, and then uh, we have a resolution under S4, uh, whereas um, we are going to um, accept uh, Mr. McBride has asked to rescind his resignation um, as VP from the high school for retirement. He'd like to um, ask the board's approval to um, uh, just hold up on that. So um, this is a resolution to accept his um, uh, to rescind his resignation from our April 16th um, uh, board meeting. Um, and then S5 would be to uh, rehire, approve uh, Mr. Joe Mc Joseph McBride as the vi vice principal for the Cedar Grove High School. And then S6 is a motion to rescind the morning cafeteria monitor duty for Pamela Wicket. Am I pronouncing that right? Wicket? Wicket. No. And a motion to approve the morning cafeteria <coughs> monitor duty for um, Christina LaCitra. Then we have S8 is a motion to approve um, the school volunteers as listed. And then S9 is a motion to reimburse the school-based volunteers for their fingerprinting as listed. S10 is a motion to approve the three-year technology plan for 2013 through 2016. Um, S11 is a motion to authorize attendance for the events as listed, and S12 is a motion to approve the leave of absence as listed. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I just have a question. The, um, I just wanted to confirm on S10, this uh, three-year technology plan, that was the one that Mr. Walsh was, mm -hmm. talk was yes. speaking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. May I have a roll call, please? Mrs. Burke? Yes. Mr. Sakala? Yes. Mrs. Dye? Yes. Mrs. Marinelli? Aye. And Mr. Mandela? Aye. Under curriculum, may I have a motion for S13 through S15, and that's to approve the curriculum revisions for phase three as listed. That's a motion to approve professional development plan um, for the 2013-2014 school year, and it's a motion to approve the substitute teachers as listed. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Burke? Yes. Mr. Sakala? Yes. Mrs. Dye? Yes. Mrs. Marinelli? Aye. And Mr. Mandela? Aye. Uh, the meeting is open to the public for comments on or off the agenda. Seeing none, <laughs> I close that portion of the meeting. Um, now that might be and may I have a motion to um, adjourn to executive session um, to discuss a personnel matter relative collect collective bargaining agreements. Action is not expected to follow 
the discussion in executive session due to the confidentiality of personnel matters public release of this discussion will probably never occur and then before we adjourn um, future meeting announcements um, here may next w Tuesday um, we usually are two weeks apart but because of the holiday Memorial Day weekend we have it next week and um, I guess we have one discussion before we go further because then we could change it here um, uh, Mrs. Dye would like to know if anyone would is not available to change our June 4th meeting to June 3rd Monday June 3rd I'm okay, so. I'm okay. Short of the Memorial Middle School, I think. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going at the high school, is there? Okay. Because I know the awards dinner. I think it's the fifth, it is right? The fifth. That is correct. June third. Monday, June third. Is there an APT meeting or anything? No. Okay. I'm so great. we're good. Yeah. Okay, so then we will be changing, Renee, uh -huh. our June 3rd, 4th meeting to June 3rd. So future meeting announcements are May 21st and June 3rd here at North End Media Center, um, 7 p.m. for executive session, 8 p.m. for our regular public session. So may I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Roll call, please. Mrs. Burke? Yes. Mr. Sakala? Yes. Mrs. Dye? Yes. Mrs. Marinelli? Aye. And Mr. Mandela. Aye. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming.